Hey guys, welcome to another video. I look like a mess, but we are going to, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm gonna start with dipping this test. We are just doing a strip test. I have like four of these left and I'm gonna use them up and that is the end of those. I thought I had more tests, turns out I don't. So I'm not sure, it's a bit bent, funny. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about it. Anyway, it is 7 DPO. I, I'm just looking at this test being pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> it's going kind of nice. Um, I had planned on doing other videos and different stuff, but in all honesty, I wasn't for it. I, I kind of overestimated how fast I kind of would feel better, basically, from this whole general situation. Uh, thankfully, I am now, you know, everyone's kind of moving forward and it's, you know, one of those things that you just have to, grief is a very, very strange thing, very personal thing. So, with that being said, I'm going to get a timer going and then I'm also going to share my mirror results with you guys. Okay, so timer's going, let me find my mirror. So I did my mirror test as well as soon as I got up to check for my progesterone. So today's cycle day, no, not cycle day, well, technically it's cycle day, but... 7 DBO. So it's been seven days since ovulation. Ovulation this cycle was... So I did the video on the day where we got like the peak, right? And then the next day, the entire day, I was just... I mean, I would say uncomfortable, but that it was way more than just discomfort. Like I was like, I felt ovulation. I am a hundred percent like, yeah, on the dot with ovulation this cycle. And it's what I keep saying. I don't understand why the actual day of ovulation is not a day when I would want to do anything. Whilst leading up to it, I'm just going crazy. That is, it has always been my question when it comes to fertility and TTCing and yeah. It's just, I don't even, I don't even. Anyway, Mira. So I did my Mira test today. My progesterone is currently in the 30s. I will show you a little image here. So it is currently in the 30s. My estrogen is at 540, so kind of slightly going down. Technically that should be going down. Um, I think it should be going down a bit more now. I always double check uh, Mira's like little analysis tools where it kind of gives you the general idea of where you want your different numbers to be. Luteal phase 100 to 350, so it's going down now. Still a bit high though, like 540 is quite, but you know, everyone is different. Progesterone is up high, which means yes, ovulation has happened. I, I, to be honest, I, I know that because my, yeah, my ovaries were exploding. Uh, yeah, and my LH is like 7.6, which we don't mind, that is fine. But so, progesterone is definitely where it needs to be at this point, which is what I really, really wanted to do today. I wanted to just double check not that I wasn't, like, as I said, not that I didn't feel it to my core, but it's like that confirmation, you know? Also, another thing I'm doing, uh, since we're on the mirror topic, I have started taking the mirror multivitamin. Ah, it's, you know, I'm kind of like, if I don't try it practically and actually, I can't just, you know. So I will say, as far as swallowing pills goes, because I'm terrible with swallowing pills and anything whatsoever in that respect. They're kind of in between, like they're kind of, a, you know, it's in the middle, you know, they're not awfully hard to swallow, not the easiest, they're okay. Like I, I, I can do it, <laughs> I can do it. Don't know, like, I wouldn't call it the best part of my morning routine, but I would definitely say I, I am okay doing it and we'll just see if it makes a difference. <laughs> I'm honestly, I just want to see if maybe, you know, like I, I definitely some vitamins are missing. I know it. You know what I mean? I haven't, I haven't been able to kind of stick to any multivitamins or prenatals in a very long time. And I know a lot of you are like, girl, what you're doing? I know. It's, it's just one of those things that I cannot get my head around. You know, I just can't, can't convince myself to do it. And it's, yeah, I have been taking the prenatals though from Mira and I am, I guess because I'm kind of convincing myself that, you know, they sent it to me, I need to like review it and talk to you guys about it. So I need to try them. So it kind of gives me a different motivation in a way. Um, my brain is weird. Yeah. I think at this point with TTC, I've just, it's become such a, it's like, it's part of what I do generally. Like we kind of like, we're just kind of 
moving forward step by step and hoping that at some stage it sticks, that it's just kind of stopped being the motivation it used to be, I guess. And that is what it is. <laughs> anyway, it is 70 below today. I'm not expecting anything crazy. I do know though that ovulation was like full blown. Yeah, so that is definitely, uh, I need to look at this test, don't I? <laughs> yes. So, and I'm not too crazy about these strip tests. Also, I definitely need to order tests because I just realized now that I pulled out my test that I only have two clear blues and four of these strip tests. I thought I had more, but I think probably in the kerfuffle of everything that happened last cycle, I just, yeah, I over, like, I didn't, I didn't even think, which, I mean, is understandable, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, then there's like a whole other things now, like different things kind of happening and popping up. And I really, really want to share my special project with you guys, which I'm just super excited about. And it makes me excited to get up and start my day and... I'm completely crazy for doing it, but, um, hey, <laughs> so, so I'm going to do a separate video kind of talking about it, I think, even though I really, really want to just say it and just be like, you know, and you're probably like, why don't you just say it? Like, what's the big deal? It's, as I've said previously, I am so terrified that whenever I start a new project, whenever I start something and I'm really, really like enthralled with it and whatnot, I get over it at some point and I, I drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I just, I just give up on it, um, halfway through and... However, with this specific project, I feel like it's not, that, that's not going to be the case. Like, I have moved into the next phase of it. I am full on in. I need to see this to the end because I need it to be complete. Like, I actually, within me, need this to be a complete project. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited, I don't know if you can tell. And I like that I'm excited about something other than TTC. As, as bad as that sounds, like, sometimes, sometimes... I feel guilty for being excited about other things and for wanting to do other things and I know that that's silly like it's not that's not a thing but I do I really I kind of feel like by me like by deciding to do other things and focus so much on other things and by enjoying these other things that may take me down different paths in my life that I am kind of slowly giving up on trying to conceive giving up on baby number three and it makes me feel guilty. I, yeah, I don't know. Guilty for who? Me? Babies? My family? I don't know, honestly, but it just does. Anyway, we're gonna look at this test because I can ramble on forever, we all know that. And uh, yeah, I will, yeah. Okay. It's just a strip test. It's just 70 BO. We all know that. I'm not expecting anything today. Like, it's not even. But yes, yeah, so how fast can implantation happen? We all know that, you know. I swear that my, my ovaries this cycle were just exploding, like exploding. It was it was the most unbelievable sensation. There was no denying ovulation, basically. Okay. That is completely negative. I mean, I'm kind of happy that it's completely blank as in it's 70 po and if it's negative i would rather be a stark negative which would then indicate if i see something tomorrow for example it's more accurate than not because 70 po is like oh my gosh this is yes that's the thing When I really, really feel ovulation and stuff like that, I always feel like it makes me feel like my body's really, really gearing up for something <laughs> and something is happening when I really feel stuff and it gets my hopes up more than like I would normally have my hopes up if I wasn't really feeling much. So that's a thing as well. I'm weird. We all know that. Anyway, 70 BO is negative. That is perfectly fine. It is 70 BO. It is early. My main focus was my progesterone confirming ovulation. My symptoms confirmed it. My ovulation confirmed it. Like everything is, is good. We, yeah. Tomorrow's ATPO. I'm going to go ahead and order some tests now. I don't know when they will arrive. My, my main concern is they won't arrive on time, which is frustrating. But I'll just have to stretch my tests and, you know, like, I have another 
three one-step tests, like strip tests, and then I have two clear blue, so I might just have to kind of stretch them over. And then run out to the pharmacy if anything is darker. I just, I don't want to go to the pharmacy here because people are like really, it's a small town, you know? We'll see. We will see. It all depends on how we go. I'm getting my hopes up way too much this cycle. I can feel it. Um, yes, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys.